Good morning, friends. It's Bob with another Daily Devo, and I want to continue the theme that we started on Sunday with loving like Jesus. Actually, not just loving like Jesus, but actually experiencing the love of Jesus and then giving out of what we have experienced. Now, I remember when I was a young believer, I was given a book called With Christ in the School of Prayer by a guy named Andrew Murray. But now what I want to do is I want to take us on a little bit of a journey in terms of with Christ in the school of love, because this is really for God, his bullseye, his target. It's it's what he wants us to be excellent in. I think we choose all kinds of other things in terms of what the Christian life and the good life looks like. But for Jesus, it is loving God and loving others, loving God and loving others. And he uses this phrase, uh, as I have loved you. He uses it twice in John's gospel. It strikes John that much that he really feels like he needs to reiterate that in terms of what Jesus has, Jesus has said. And this is a really pretty big deal, <coughs> excuse me, that, that God has loved us in such a profound way. And that now that love has a kind of a, a reciprocity aspect to it, that God loves us sends his son to rescue us, and then out of that, we become people that really love truly from the heart. We love deeply from the heart, as Peter has written so profoundly on. And in this, I think that we are on a journey into love. Let's just put it that way, that we are, you and I are on a journey into love, into the depths of love. Paul has prayed us into the depths, the height, the depth, the breadth, the length of the love of Christ, and know that love and that the fullness of God is what actually we're entering into and entering into love. But we're also, we're, we're moving in the rhythms of love. And as we go into this holiday season, and as we are in the holiday season, still in a pandemic, I believe that God is actually calling us to walk more deeply and more profoundly and more practically into love. But today, what I want to do is I want to just reel it back for just a moment. We talked about a number of dimensions uh, of the love of Christ that the disciples would have thought about when Jesus said, as I have loved you. The first two were mercy and grace, that they received mercy from him and they received grace from him. And I want to just ask you today, for just a moment to reflect with me for just a few moments on when have you, when has the love of God for you been manifested, has become real in tangible kinds of experiences and expressions of mercy toward you? I can think of a lot of times where I have blown it big time, and I have not received my comeuppance. I have not received what I was rightfully due me. In fact, I was rece- I received something very, very generous and very kind instead of what I really had coming. That would be mercy. When you don't get what you deserve to get uh, in terms of your consequences, your results, when you don't get the harsh edge of these things from God or from others, you're receiving mercy. And that mercy is the leading edge of God's love, that we're not receiving what we rightfully deserve for our sins. Instead, that God is giving us something profound. So think for a moment, when have you received mercy and how does the mercy of God find meaning and expression in your world? Think for a moment. How have you received mercy? And I want you to go back to that place. You've received incredible mercy. Now, out of that, we then give that kind of mercy. We move back into the rhythms of God, of his love, of his mercy, and we give out of that. That's the first thing. Then grace is sort of the flip side of that. If mercy is... And we're working with these working definitions here. If mercy is not receiving what you rightfully deserve, and grace is actually getting what you don't deserve, that is that someone is giving you a gift that is 
something that you haven't earned, that you haven't done anything to merit, that you haven't done anything to make happen, that that has been given to you. And this is, again, the other side. Mercy is one side. Grace is another side of the love of God for you and I, that God is actually giving us, he's giving to us in ways that we don't deserve. How have you received from God things that you totally didn't deserve? Think for a moment on that. Reflect on that. Lord, you have, wow, you, I mean, as I think about this, I think I've got these incredible kids. I've got this incredible wife. I don't deserve either one of these things. The fact that my kids are as wonderful as they are, they're not perfect, but they're wonderful. That's just a gift. I mean, when somebody, if somebody asked me, how'd you do it? I would say, I married well and God has been so good. He's been so gracious that the love of God has come to me in my life so often through people in my life who have been so gracious and God being gracious of letting our kids turn out so beautiful that our kids are walking with God, even though they've experienced really harsh things being growing up in the church as a pastor's kid and different kind of things like that. So I, I think that, I'm, I'm just floored by how merciful and how gracious God has been to me. And as I come back to that, it really sculpts how I, how I love others and how I view others and, and where I would be tempted to judge that I'm not as tempted because I know that I have not received judgment for what I rightfully deserved as judgment. So as we are walking in these rhythms of the love of God as we're with Christ in the school of love, I want to ask you to reflect with me on these dimensions of the love of Jesus, these as I have loved you dimensions of love. I want you to think about those today and reflect on those today and maybe marinate in those things today. And let that kind of soften you in terms of the way that the pandemic has toughened you up, that it would soften you. And then that softening would work its way out in your interactions with others. And as you do, you actually are participating in this circle of blessing, this cycle and circle of love that God has invited you and I into as his kids and as his well, co-heirs with Jesus. What are we co-heirs of? God's kingdom of love. So as we love this week and as we seek to calibrate our lives to loving well, Let's think about those things first. What have we not received that we deserved to receive? And what have we received that we didn't deserve to receive? Mercy and grace. I love you. So glad that you joined me today. Thanks so much and we'll talk to you tomorrow.